Come on. I'll make this hard. Hey, these games suck, bruh. I have so much trouble managing my clubs. I, I just want to kill all the clubs I'm in. Why can't I just delete all of them at once? Huh? Anyone know how a quick way to manage your uh, clubs? Do you have any idea, D's?
I like how I can't even delete clubs. Makes sense. This is working out better. I don't even know what that club was. <sighs> God. Sorry, Tyvin, I'm leaving your club, bro. Your exclusive club. Thank you. 
I have to leave Firemelon's treehouse. This is a test. I had to, I had to upload it twice, dude. The first time I uploaded it, it uploaded it as a short, and then it didn't. It like switched over to being a regular video, so I uploaded it the second time. And the second time it showed up as a short, like it's supposed to. Why? I don't know. Some kind of glitch with, uh, um, Twitch. I mean, uh, YouTube. Yeah, it's it's some weird thing about I don't know why it does it. Okay, so what should we do tonight? Uh, run through some story stuff? Run through, do some more drifting practice? I don't know. Just a controller. I would love racing hardware, but it's kind of... It seems too pricey to me. Welcome back, Steve. And yeah, I, I plan on playing nothing but Forza for a while. For stream. This has been uh, a plan of mine for a while. Four to five hotfix information. This week we're expecting a hotfix implemented for the crash connection issues. Okay. Nobody bid on my gold leader Dotson. Huh. Why am I only playing this for a while? Well, I've been looking forward to it all year. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 was one of my favorite uh, last generation games. And I played it a lot and I really enjoyed it. I thought if there's one, if I wanted to find a game to just focus on to try to grow an audience around, it would be around Forza. So I thought maybe I would give it a little college try.
least while I'm doing this content here on YouTube, trying to grow my YouTube channel. I thought if I just do, ga if my gaming content was just this, maybe I could, uh, Let's see how it goes. You know, I've never turned on simulation damage before. I'm jealous of your fancy controller. Yes, the carpet is dealt with. Unbelievably. Something that seemed like it was never poss going to possibly happen finally happened. I mean, hilariously, this is how it went down. Like, um... For the full carpet saga, I've been trying to get a new carpet. I paid for it months ago, three months ago. And it's a couple, like $3,000, right? And uh, I had an appointment. It was supposed to be on the 25th of October. And the date came up and they said, hey, we're not going to do the appointment. And they, I'm like, uh, and it was a voicemail. I'm like, so why? And I like try to call them back. Nobody fucking answers. No email. Email bounces. To the email, the last lady I emailed with them, she no longer worked there. I'd leave voicemails on their like manager's account and the manager account emails were bouncing to um because the, the inbox was full. All kinds of crazy shit. Sketchy. I would like get a call and then I'd miss it and then I'd try to return a call and the days would go by before I'd get another attempted call my way. I was like doing this phone tag thing. Anyway, I finally like get a hold of them, but they're like Oh, it's going to be like stretched out till they're not going to install till like January of next year. And I'm like, what the fuck? It was supposed to be now. They go, when would you like to have it done? I said, I would like to have it done two weeks ago. Like you said, you're going to was my response. I said, you know, we're going to pull out of this thing. if You guys don't resolve it. They're like, oh, they kept like stringing me along. Oh, it's in about a week. We think we might be able to get an install going or something like that. And like they did then no call, nothing. Right. And so the whole thing was like originally set up through, um, through, uh, Home Depot, which is a, a very big, uh, hardware supplier store in the United States. And so, um, anyway, um, they, uh, I like would leave calls with them and they wouldn't even respond to those calls or anything like that. It was like fucking stupid, right? Like, so I'm leaving calls with the people who set up the whole appointment and everything like that. They're, they're not responding to me. Right. So, uh, we decided to, uh, use our ACE in the sleeve and we had a little ACE, which, uh, most people don't have. And it's called, my father-in-law runs a Home Depot in Reno, Nevada. He's literally the manager of the whole store in Reno. And we know that he had some he has some kind of pull because he was uh one of the lobbyists for the company to Washington DC <laughs> in the United States. So we know he knows some people. And we're like asking him what we should do. 
He's like, oh, hold on, I'll, hold on, I'll make some calls. So, <laughs> and uh, he's like called that department for us, and, and like and they and they were supposed to call us back, and they didn't. And he's like, oh, and the very next day, he's like, oh, they didn't call you back. Oh, hold on a second, <laughs> write a little email to the manager of that store over there, or something like that, and like. Uh, same day he emails that guy, we get a phone call from the installation company saying they're going to install our carpet in one day. So, uh, uh, today is what, Wednesday? Tuesday? What day of the week is it? I don't even know what fucking day of the week this is. Wednesday? Yeah. So, yesterday, the same day my father-in-law emailed the, the... Uh, guy who runs the Redmond Home Depot. He emails that guy. And same day, I get a call from the lady who who's supposedly setting up our appointment for the January. And we have an installer coming out f for tomorrow, which was today. And sure as shit, the fucking installers were calling. And then she's calling me today. How'd the installation go? Oh, like to give a call, follow up on everything tomorrow. So they're going to give me another phone call tomorrow. So I think all of a sudden I'm getting the VIP treatment. All of a sudden I'm a fucking important guy. <laughs> Those fuckers came in and they installed that shit in under two hours. You're telling me. Weeks ago, they couldn't get two people to come in here for two hours and that they weren't going to be able to have anyone come in for two hours from then all the way to January. And they weren't fucking me around, fucking around with me. They, that was impossible to like so, get someone scheduled in because apparently they figured out really fast after some emails from Big Papa. <laughs> So yeah, my father-in-law, man, he dropped the hammer on somebody or something. All I know is he lit the fire. It's had to have been him. There's no, uh, there's no other explanation that the same fucking day he starts dropping emails on, on the guy that runs the whole place because their people did not call me back like they were supposed to. Anyway, now suddenly we have a new carpet. Now... The thing that's funny about all this, like, like with 24 hours notice, less than 24 hours of notice, we had to move every fucking thing out of the living room, like the TV, the, the, all the game setup, speaker, the, our hutch with the china in it, dining room table, couch, uh, this whole dresser thing that we have in there, tables, chairs. The whole nine had to be moved out. We had to get it ready before noon today. So that's why I didn't stream yesterday. It was like, it was like too much is happening. And we we're kind of like tired by the end of the, of getting ready. Cause we had to kind of scramble, you know, not to mention I'm working. So, uh, you know, that had to... anyway, yes. Uh, it's, uh, now a done deal, but it's very soft and very nice. Much better than what we had before. It's quite luxurious. It's like g going from feeling like you live in an apartment into feeling like you're living in something nicer. It is like a pretty big improvement on the carpet. The carpet that was installed previous to us was obviously like quick replace before they we moved in one of those kind of things and it was not in great condition and then between the dogs and the cats and everything like that it just got like ruined over time and then the kids you know were ruining it too and it was just totally totally destroyed so um it was uh good to get it done Oh, the carpet definitely matches the drapes. 100% now.
ride to you. Oh my gosh, it is really nice. And uh, uh, this one falls under the category of uh, thing that makes your wife miserable that doesn't necessarily bother you as much, but it really, really made Kelly miserable to have that crappy carpet. It really bothered her. And me, I just kind of ignored it. But like now that the new one's in, it's, it's, it is very much a relief to have it out, the bad carpet out. But like... We have had our share of uh, dramatic conversations over the quali over the carpet situation. Not just like this particular part of it. I'm talking about just in general how much it's it's been gross and wanting to replace it and everything. Hey Gavin, this is my car. This is my jam. This is the best closest I can get to the Escort that I like in. Uh, you know, Forza Horizon 4, my favorite car in that game. They don't have the Escort from... It's a Cosworth that I really love. I'm hoping they bring it back out. If I don't see my Kazi, I'm gonna be upset. You better be unlocked at some point. Well, this one was like this. This carpet was way past its life. Like it was in pretty bad shape. Cross country. That my Evo will let me. No, it won't. Where's my Mitsubi Where's my Evo? There it is. Rats. Yeah, I'm loving the game so far. It's really fun. Never, ever. This is an exception, though.
that, Gavin. Yeah, I considered that, but I really wanted to own the whole game. I just wanted the developer to get my money. <laughs> That's all. In this case, I just want the development team to get paid well for the work. I would love recommendations on good wheels. If the wheel is like a worth thing, worth getting. Cause I, I'd, I'd consider getting one if uh, I had a really good recommendation on it. a good jump for you guys. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Oh, maybe not. Well, maybe. Firefly, bro. Firefly, I got your peppers today. I have not tried anything yet. I'm so much, so much more scared of them after I've seen them in person. And it made me have to ask the question, like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> why are you, why are you creating more of these things? They shouldn't exist in this world. Those peppers are scary looking, man! Firefly is growing ghost it, ghost peppers and um, uh, scorpion peppers. And they're way scarier in person than any video I've ever seen. When you look at them, it just screams, don't eat me. Do not eat this. Carolina Reapers, that's it, yeah. When you look at them in person, it is clearly a thing you're not supposed to put in your mouth. The problem is, Firefly, I feel like I still have to bite into them. I feel like I have to. I'm uh, terrified. So, expect the video to be recorded this weekend, probably. I'll be trying at least one of the peppers. Right, me both. Oh, totally by themselves, like bite right into it. I've seen children bite into these things. It's possible. It's just not going to be comfortable. Hi, right, Firefly. <laughs> It's gonna be rough. Wow, no way, these. I don't know about that. That sounds nuts.
those packy chips are hot though. They taste pretty good though. I admit they taste pretty good. But they're hot. They're hot to me. I never had the one chip challenge where it's it's owned by itself. But I've had the regular hot super hot the ghost pepper packy chips and yeah they they taste good, they're just like, really hot. I can't deny that they are tasty though, but yeah, they, they, yeah, they're spicy. Chip challenge ones have a little more of that stuff dusted on them. I don't know if that's true. I just heard they're a little more. Like whether they do the, the whatever they manufacture the first, the other ones they put a little extra effort into the, the awfulness. Well, props to your son. I'll <laughs> I do not have that constitution. And anybody that watched the Hot Ones challenge that I did will know. No. The funny thing is, at least one of those hot sauces gets used for the Hot One challenge I did. Re relatively regularly. One of them is quite delicious. And I use it a lot, but not the super duper hot ones. They're just super gnarly. Okay. Discord, but uh, someone I have to share the link to you. Um, I don't. It's not in my bot on okay. here. Oh, we can talk about peppers. We can talk about peppers. Mostly about how. Uh, Talk about how those packy chips are. Well, they're hot, but not, they taste still taste good. Oh, the packy chips, they're. They're ghost pepper based for the, on the in terms of the heat. Except they taste they taste really good. They, as far as a, as a chip goes, they taste good in general. I'll do a quick little short video to show you guys these peppers that Fireflight sent me. And I'll post that tomorrow. But uh, I won't get around to eating them until this weekend probably. 
I'll try to eat one this weekend. Maybe after my kids get their COVID shots. Just to give them a laugh. Cause panic. Excited to these. That's one less foot of colon the rest of us have to deal with when it comes back out. You should you're blessed in a way. <laughs> so, dude, oh, I want to play this sweet racing game, bro. Did I just barely pull out a win? Barely? 
Wow. Way back in the day. We worked together. Tearing up Horizon Street scene. Ha! <laughs> it's you, obviously. Sometimes I miss being underground. Hey, Steve. Sorry to bother a future Hall of Famer, but can I have your input on this next adventure? Let me talk to Alejandra. See if she can find enough drivers willing to race the Colossus against you. Go on, amigo. That's it. Horizon Apex is finished. Uh, the build, <laughs> I mean. Racing is never finished. Yeah, let's do the Colossus. Where is it? <laughs> Hola, amigo. Haley called me. Ready for the Colossus? I can't wait to see you conquer this thing. Which car will I drive the Colossus? The question. Let's try. The. How about the. Porsche. Porsche there. Yep. Let's try it. Colossus, the biggest road race we've ever made. Are you ready? Catching up the chat. Let's see if there's anything I need to know. Gavin. <laughs> wow. They're literally moving out of state over vaccines. Do they hate being healthy or something? Weird. I can't imagine hating being healthy that much. Sad because so many vaccines have saved so many people. You know, like how many of you guys have had smallpox? You haven't. You want to know why? Because it's fucking eradicated through vaccinations. Awesome. are just ooh, wrecked right now. Too much computer time. So those of you that haven't been vaccinated, I would encourage you to do so. Get yourself vaccinated against COVID-19. Oh, 
help yourself from catching the nice hard case of death. You catch it. Make you more resistant to catching it in the first place. Which will put you in a nice, nice spot where you don't have to worry about maybe asymptomatically catching it and giving it to somebody else. You won't have to live with that guilt of maybe somebody dying because you need to go get one needle shot in your arm. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. My homie, uh, Major Respect, who hangs out on this channel, he, he told he had about a thousand excuses why he couldn't get the shot because he he didn't go anywhere or do anything anyway. And then uh, he went ahead and caught COVID and was hospitalized for uh, a week. He just got back out of the hospital last week. And now he's all fucked up and on a bunch of medicines that he would have never have any taken. Now he could be have his lungs fucked for life because he didn't want to leave the house. Go get a shot. He was just being lazy about it. Even though he had no uh, intellectual or any other reason to not get it. He just didn't want to bother. <laughs> Sucks. I hope he, uh, recovers. He actually literally came in this channel and said, I should have listened to you, dude. This is what he said to me. I should have listened to you, man. to get a, a nice force suit act con racing controller as much as I play this stuff you think I'd go get one you know especially Gran Turismo will be coming out too and I'll be wanting to play that as well this seems like maybe it'd be maybe I should invest in one So chat real quick. Uh, I'm playing against bots. The bots are in this particular thing, Fireflight. Take it first person. It's definitely more visceral this way because all the screen shaking. Everything like that. I, I, I turn this on. My preferred way to drive and racing it, if I were not streaming, would be this. This is how I play racing games when no one's around.
I just learned a long time ago that like viewers like to see the car a lot of the time. Or they like to see the steering wheel. mode right here if you have the uh if you have the, the the steering wheel that's what this mode's for right here by the way then you're running the steering wheel in the position of that Halfway done with this race. chat and I crashed the car. Idiot. Despite there being a radio mode or whatever for this, for streamers, one of the songs in here has been getting me copyright strikes. One of the uh, songs in this playlist, even though it's not supposed to. Or copyright claims. I'm not getting a strike, but I'm getting a claim. Oh, 
shit, where are these guys all coming from? What's worse, the Carolina Reaper or the uh, Ghost Pepper in that uh, package I have? Double. It's a known problem, the disconnecting, Gavin. Pretty well known. That they've been working on solutions to it. When I did the Hot Ones Challenge, uh, if you guys haven't watched it, you should go back about two months in my uh, YouTube channel and go find it. But uh, when I did the Hot Ones Challenge, it was like, uh, by the time you got to the bomb, which was like over a million Scoville units, it kind of like, once you go past a certain point, it's like, I mean, that one's just hot and not, doesn't taste good on top of being hot. It was just hot for being hot sick.
God, now what? Now what? Ooh, deadly mistake! Deadly mistake at the end of the race! Deadly mistake! That's a long race to lose at the very end! so stressed out from that that was scary what a win yeah not bad superstar you can come and race with me anytime Levels. Yeah. Ooh, two thousand GT. Jesus, Gavin, how much have you been playing? Jesus. a nice expensive car nice spins nice week <laughs> I've been spending most of my time playing fucking around I have to admit most of my time has been fucking around screaming My 
my stats. 19 hours driven. Look at you glitching. Gotcha. I'll prep Ramirez for an expedition to the dirt racing outpost. Don't get lost in there. Hey, amigo! Ready to head into the jungle? We need to find a dirt outpost and a certain big cat I've been chasing. A cat used to chase a Peugeot? What is it, a Jaguar? What's he, what's he going for here? What? What car is you looking for? Okay, we're gonna go into the jungle. What are we gonna drive in the jungle? This guy here? No, that's too slow. Let's drive this fancy bitch truck right here. Maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be that one. No, I haven't driven the pre-runner. Let's get it. I hate that all of the fucking drift spots are the number one are, are willies, which is just cheap ass way of doing. Uh, it's a cheap ass way of doing drift. That's not really drifting. I don't know why I bo why bother if you're not going to really drift. Like, why bother doing the drift zones? We're just gonna fucking cheap it out with a willy. It's like, you're not gonna do drift live with other players like that. You can't. You look like an idiot. Go, boy, were you taking a shit? Where'd you go, bro? Gobo's taking his shit. Just play with you. <laughs> fucking rolling coal on this bad boy. Let's go. Let's gas up some fucking EV drivers. Smoke them up. Rolling some coal. I was just commenting on how people use that Jeep to cheat um, uh, the drift sections. Because when you, because you know that when you tune that thing up crazy, it acts like a spaceship. It doesn't act like a fucking normal vehicle. I wish they didn't put it back in the game, but here we are. Same problem with uh, Forza 4. Just go to the leaderboard, it's nothing but wheelies for all the, uh, all the uh, drift sections. 
can't really get on those leaderboards. I hate it when the, you get the mystery beat from the smoke detector. It can scare the shit out of you. Such a horrible sound. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It could scare you. Really make you jump. Hola, my friend. Aren't you ready to get going? Sir Ravi, you said something about a big cat. A long story. I tracked it all the way into the jungle, but lost my notes. Uh, why don't I explain it on the way? First, let's retrace my steps. We head south, across the highway, and over the hills. Vamanos! Hmm. I thought big cats would avoid major highways. <laughs> Not this one, my friend. Mira, next, I turned off road and hit a danger sign on the way into Muleje. Whoa! Rosa stole in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Now I have your help. I'm sure we'll find it. Next, I went across the bridge and into the jungle. Getting close. Hold up. You owe me a long story. Perdón, let me explain. I was given coordinates of where this big cat was last sighted. But the plane had mechanical problems on takeoff. I barely got it off the ground. So you dropped your cargo? Exacto! I lost everything and I never even saw the cat. But now you're here to help. And it's on the way. This is the place! I left my car at the far end of the runway. All my stuff, including my notes, should be in the flight cases. Think you can find them too? Cat as a car, right? I'm guessing Jaguar? Obviously! <laughs> Sorry, did I not mention? <laughs> it's a barn find! Drop me off at my car once you've found it. Again! You found my notes! Carrosa said the Jaguar was abandoned by its owner 20 years ago. I've marked out the rough location on your map. Thanks, Gobo. I will. Thank you, Mr. McFly. We'll get fancy this weekend, Mr. McFly. Maybe not getting run over by a car, but I don't see you getting out to grab it. What?
Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> that was pathetic. Oh. My helmet. Gracias, my friend. I've been looking for this one. I need is the speed. I gotta dislike this stream? Wow. Why? What have I done? Guess so. Oh well, not everyone's gonna like you. slow down like immediately Like going too fast. Too slow, you don't make the jump. Too fast, you. Yeah, I'm gonna hit that on purpose. Worked. Hey, Remy. How come you were carrying a hundred thousand credits? Oh, my friend. Just some winnings I made on the street scene. This one, I'm driving? Oh, I didn't expect that. I was with a they didn't tear away like that. Fly the plane. 
My spare flight suit. What did you think? You can keep it if you like. Why'd you like driving this thing? There's my car. Drop me around here when you're ready to leave. Alex wants the biggest dirt racing program Horizon has ever seen. And we are going to give it to him. Slow, that's for sure. Pretty quick. We'll take this road. Getting close now. I promised you dirt roads, didn't I? Ali and I used to race buggies around here when we were teenagers. <laughs> I always won. <laughs> I hope you've grown out of your rivalry. Rivalry? My friends, in Mexico we call that family. <laughs> Is the best racers in the world? It's perfect. I just hope the dirt racers are good enough for the Mexican. I have no idea, dude. I have no no clue. Well, that's cool, Joe. You show that? That's cool. I know what you were thinking all the way through that jungle. This place would be perfect for dirt racing. Funny. <laughs> I had the same thought. Check it out. Horizon Wilds. A little festival of my own where we celebrate all things dirt racing. Oh, this is going to be good. I've started you off simple with a few events, and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, off you go and get dirty. Get dirty. Expand. What are we doing next?
follow the intrepid footsteps of Anna Pugino. I would do that if it weren't too late, but it's too late. It's probably 10 minutes off of me ending the stream. So we'll just do some, uh, I know I'll do. Um, let's try an eliminator match. I remember me and uh, Ruin Prime playing Forza 4, and we were like, just trying to find the last piece of road. I remember just hours and hours driving around trying to find the last little, was like a little nub of road that we didn't find. Play the mode right. Choose your weapon. Uh, car, sorry, car. Choose your starting point. Keep in mind, car drops usually happen near buildings and landmarks. Backwards, huh? Starting off really good. Take it out of the RS. Let's go. Take it. What's this? An upgrade? Don't mind if I do. Keep an eye out for more flares. Who knows what you'll find? New wheel. Sweet. This will do nicely. Until we find something better. That was a level two.
you really see the car draw so far away? Right here. Wait, I didn't see me get challenged by somebody. When did I get challenged? Before you had to like, you had to like get near them and then challenge them. No one got near me. What the hell was that? that this automatically assigned me a race to get somebody? Nice. You know there's a limited edition eliminator car, right? And what, you haven't seen it yet? You just have to keep playing then, won't you? Alright. Well, that was a dick move. And now it's, now it's starting up one and I'm like, I gotta go to bed. I'm confused because I've played this mode before and uh someone has to come near you and honk normally to try to steal your car you, you get challenged these little races but I didn't seem to get assigned to a race to anybody I just lost for no reason that I can tell. Alright, well, it's that time. Because your boy Dev has a job to do in the morning. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, we'll pick up where we left off. Have a good night. Thanks again, Gobo. Appreciate it, bro. Catch you later, guys. Good night.